Hello everyone, and welcome to the, well, the review of the Harry Potter Magical Minis Advent Calendar. I'm just going to throw that there, because I'm going to need all the space that's in front here. There. That's better. So... So I just push everything in the frame. So this is virtually everything. Including whatever's in what we what we put in here, which is the two butterbeers, the Hogwarts Harry's. There's a jumper. Two butterbeer, the scarf. No, I'm just gonna put the scarf back into here. Because you can probably fit Harry's and Ron's. So you can have the trunk pop up like that or just leave them out. You can put the other small things in. Yeah, that, that's fine. So we got all all small things in here apart from the expendable ears, which I'm hoping is going to fit. Ooh, no, it's not going to fit. Yeah, they're not going to fit, so they're going to stay out. So we can fit the small things in here to keep them safe. Now, Hermione can't wear the invisibility cloak. Ron can. Ron can wear the invisibility cloak. It's soft and malleable plastic, so it's one of those flexible kinds. Um, I did say I have others, so let's um just go in order from movie one. So we have Hidwig, the Chocolate Frogs. We have the Letter from Hogwarts. We have Betty Bots and Flavors. Fizzing Wisbies, again, these, this is stickered, this is not exactly painted, this is stickered, not showing it all on every other side, so that's four of the, that's what, five from movie one. Hedwig is also from the start of the movie, when Harry goes to Diagon Alley with, you might be able to believe this. I found... Hagrid, Fang, and Hermione. This is a different Hermione. This is um, Prisoner of Azkaban. So, if we all remember movie one, Hagrid gives Harry. Hidwig as a birthday present. There you go, Harry. Happy birthday. And I also found another Mr. Potter. Again, I can't take the scarf off because it is a one piece scarf and Visibility Cloak fits just just fits. So if you remember the scene where Ron's down in the corner and he goes, Harry, wake up, Harry. Harry jumps out of bed, puts glasses on, runs downstairs. Merry Christmas, Harry. I got presents. Yeah. Both got these from Mrs. Weasley. This is from Professor Dumbledore. Your father left it in my possession. Use it well. 
was the note. We also have scabbers that we see in book one and slash in the uh, Philosopher's Stone movie, aka Peter Peter Root, aka Wormtail. Though I think this should have been the Marauder's map. This should have been the Marauder's map, not the expendable ears. Also, we have Draco. Remember Draco from book one? Madam. Madam it's, it's the cloak one. Cloak store. And then on the train, and then on the, um. And the boats, and the, um. Great Hall, and everything else. Yeah, I found Draco Malfoy. I really wish this was, um, a little bit more better, but. He's got the school blazer on. I also found Professor McGonagall to add to this. It's like, this is a missed opportunity by Spin Master. It's like, how about give us characters that we need, not free characters, their pets, two, two Patronuses from book three. Book three. Book five. Remember Professor Umbridge? Yeah. Everyone hated her. I still hate her. The chair is fine. Because it's the chair that Harry sits in. To open up his invisibility cloak. And uses it at the same time. Another character that I found that you saw on day one was Professor Remus Lupin. So I found a number of characters I can add to this set. If I can call this a set. This is more um, three characters, pets, two Patronuses, a whole bunch of accessories. This can be used in a playset, though it's the one or potions class, so yay for another cauldron for that. The sorting hat, as you can see, it does have a face. If the camera stays on target, that is. So he does have a face, and I did put the song from book one in to the description on it when we got him. Am I happy with this? Figures, figure-wise, with their, their pets? Yes, do I love the detail on Scabbers, aka Wormtail, aka Peter Pettigrew, yes. Uh, detail on Hedwig is great. Same with Crookshanks. Um, am I... Disappointed in a few accessories. Yes, mainly these two. Um, chocolate frogs are a great reminder of the first movie. Love the detail, as you can see. Um, am I disappointed that there's not a box for this one? Yes. That would have been a lot more better, along with including a wizard card. There's something that Spin Master missed out on doing. The trunk could be just a tad big so we can put every, like, all the small stuff in. Because now I have to play um, Tetris with this and find out the best way to actually have everything in. So let's play Tetris live. Let's play Tetris on here. Not everything's gonna fit. 
Not once you put the expendable ears in and try and close. So I have to keep the expendable ears out. Yeah, they're all just, just going to go into this. Uh, what was it? Cole Superhero Builders collector's case that I um, took the inside out from. Uh, do I have any complaints about this one? No. I am taking the batteries out so I can just... Yeah. It's, it's a black light or UV type light that's in here. Do I have any, any other problem with this set? Apart from this opportunity to include Neville Longbottom, um, Grab Goyle from Movie 2, um, which would have been great for Mr. Malfoy to have a few extra... Like his little, little goons, um, Malfoy from the second movie book would have been great as well. Marauder's map would have been better than this. Uh, anything else I can nitpick? Yeah, this with the scarf. I think this shouldn't have been included. This should have been something else. Because we really, we really can't fit anything on her money, and she at all, and her head can look up and down. And just there is some slight rotation. It's like, ooh, ooh, I'm an owl. <laughs> can she sit in the chair properly? Mm, some fiddling around with her, just to get her to sit. She sits. So does Ron and Harry. Yeah, these are meant to stand. Getting them to stand with their um really need a base. I got Harry to stand. Uh, Hermione here is the well. Let's just say the top heavy one. She she literally is top heavy. She won't stand. I know Ron will stand. When you can get him to be in the correct spot with his head, he can stand. Same with Harry. It's Hermione who can't stand. That big brain and big bushy brown hair of hers just makes her top heavy. She literally has nothing to stand on. Which should have been something included. For us to actually use. It contains three, one one, three figures, twenty three accessories. 
one instruction sheet, which we did look at, and then got rid of because a, it was just basically about the use of the one and such. There is a there is a slight difference between these these two Harrys. It's mainly the hair, which is different. This one you can see the lightning bolt scar. This one you literally can't see it unless you look closely, but it is there. Their eyes are the same color. Glasses, yeah. It's just mainly the way they seen as well. So, and what they're wearing. That's the only difference. I don't have Ron to actually show the difference between him. But, with Hermione, there, there is slight differences on the hair and what she's wearing. That's about it. But her, her legs are, are, nearly, are nearly exactly the same. Or I should say, are the same legs. It's just her hair that is entirely different. Because you can see, this one, you can see her eyebrows and a bit of her forehead. This one, you literally can't see her forehead. So there is a difference there. It's like, oh, but it's the same hair. No, it's not. It may be the same hair, but it's a actually different proportion. Can this money stand freely? No. So this is why you need the playsets because the playsets have this actually keeps them upright. So it is a magnet on the playsets somewhere that you can set them that you can stand them up. Um, I need more. I need to find more Patronuses for for this to actually compare these two with. The others, I know this one should stand, but is um, yeah, well, it it's top heavy, as you can see. The otter, no worries. We do have a problem with this one. This is actually based on the Funko one. This is not based on anything else but that. So Spin Masters, you might want to go back to the drawing board for this one, because this is too top heavy. You based it on the Funko one, it's going to be top heavy. Like, literally top heavy. Stands for a second, and then just topples over. Not even a second. Millisecond at best. Is this... Are these, um... Is this fun for anyone who's... You like just interested in getting these? Yes. Is getting all of them better than none? Answer is yes. Oh, and um, Professor McGonagall's hat does actually come off, so you can actually put the sorting hat on her, which is completely <laughs> too big. So. Her hat goes on like that. Shame it wasn't styling Maggie Smith. But she can't pass as Harry Potter's adopted mother. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. We have the green eye trio. <laughs> McGonagall can pass as, as Mr. Potter's adopted mother. That should have been hap that sh That's what should have happened. At least then Harry would have been better protected. And under a watchful, more watchful eye. And trained before going to Hogwarts. Harry dear, how is your one work coming along? It's coming along fun, Mum. That's good to hear. We then go to Diagon Alley to get you a new one. One that is for you only. Yay! Which means Harry would have had access to his bank account and everything else. 
though if anything, I reckon Harry would have had a lot more, a much more better upbringing. Because he would have been able to go to Hogwarts and everything else, just and as a child, and like oh, I'm going to the, this this school near here because I'm sure there's a magic, I'm sure there's a wizard kindergarten, and such. Yeah, Harry would have just been able to go to go to Hogwarts at the end of the day, enjoy tea, go to sleep, get up, breakfast, go out to wherever. But yeah. Probably in another alternate universe there's, there's a book that's got Professor McGonagall adopting Mr. Potter. After finding out after watching Harry's aunt and uncle being killed. With their son. Alternate universe for alternate things. I was like Hagrid would have been um, a little bit more taller and such, but Hagrid is Hagrid, and he he literally he's bigger than Professor McGonagall and Remus Lupin. You know, a werewolf form of Lupin would be nice as well. So there's there's something that could have that could be um, explored in. Next year's advent calendar from Spin Master. It's like explore the explore the teachers a bit. Add a, add a few add a few more teachers like. Definitely not give like Lockhart or Professor Umbridge. Please not them. I was looking for um a sort of a Snape or how about an Angus Finch, Finch with his cat, Albus Dumbledore. So now I have to go hunt, um, I think it's Ron and Albus along with Surfer Snape in these. And then the other sets. Do I want the castle? The castle would only be able to fit all these. That's all it would be. It would just be for display purpose only. For all this. Yeah. Did I find the advent calendar fun? Yes. Did I find getting um this whatever is in here? This is this this should have been the Marauders map, not expendable here. This is movie five. This should have been something else, along with the scarf, that should have been something else. The accessories are virtually whatever's in this pile. What and whatever's in these two. That's the accessories. The figures are Hermione, Harry, and Bron. They're all different. I don't think Ron has green eyes. Isn't isn't his eyes supposed to be a different color? Hermione's eyes are brown. Draco's eyes are blue. Yeah, this is Hermione's eyes. Are, wait, their eyes are a different color. Just a, just a bit. This, this Hermione's right eye is just, it's just a little darker than this one. So this is, you could say this Hermione here is a variant to this Hermione. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, that's the video review. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for more videos, and I will see you in the LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar Review video. So stay safe wherever you are.